Hey scrollers, welcome to part three of scroll saw cutting for beginners. I wasn't going to make it part three, but there was just a few things that were bugging me that I didn't add, so I figured it was important enough to go ahead and make a third video to show you some of the things that I think are important when it comes to scrolling that I didn't mention in the previous two videos. So let's take it from here. We're going to start with preparing your blades properly. I just opened up a brand new pack of blades here and what I like to do is right off the bat just go ahead and do a little preparation of the blades before I actually use them in the saw. There's a reason for this. It's because if you don't do this, it, there's a possibility that the blades might actually slip out of the blade holders on your saw. So this only takes a few minutes. What we do is we take a blade, we have a little bit of paint thinner here. You can use just about anything that will cut grease, any like paint thinner, denatured alcohol, mineral spirits, or any sort of a degreaser. What happens is there tends to get a little bit of oil on the blades during the manufacturing process. So we just want to wipe that off a little bit, each both ends of each blade, dry it off. And we want to take an extra step. This here is a, a piece of wood with sandpaper applied to it. This is 220 grit sandpaper. I use this for many, many things other than this and just simply hit both sides of the blade on both the top and the bottom. You can do it like this or you can also just take a piece of sandpaper 220, 150, whatever you got handy and just simply wipe it that way with both ends. Okay, now that blade is ready to go and be installed, and I shouldn't have to worry about the blade slipping out of the blade holders. I'm not going to show you how to go through the entire process of installing your blade. You should be able to have that handled, but there are a couple things I want to point out when you do install your blade. First of all, when you put your blade in and you tighten your knob up, make it a little bit snug and then just give it a little bit more thumb pressure. If you prepared your blade before installing it, you won't have to worry about it slipping out of the blade holder. So that amount of tension should be more than adequate to hold your blades. Over tightening the knob will do nothing but cause you problems. These blocks are made out of aluminum and if you over tighten them, you can strip out the threads that are tapped inside here so try not to over tighten your your knob it's just not a good thing to do as far as tensioning goes here I'll put a little tension on this blade and you can hear that it sounds very dull and has a bit of a vibration to it so I'm just going to tighten up on my tensioning knob a little bit That's still not quite good enough. There, we got a nice high pitch sound there. That's good for tension as it is right there. I'm going to show you with the proper tension you should see very little movement side to side as you're moving your workpiece through the blade. Okay, now I'm going to loosen the tension up a little bit to show you what to look for that will let you know that your tension has gone awry or needs to be adjusted. Okay, I just loosened it up a little bit and as you can see now the blade is moving quite a bit left to right as I cut. And that's an indication that it's time to stop and retension your blade. That can be caused by 
a little bit of slippage or blades actually do stretch a little bit especially when you first install them I do have a video that shows how to eliminate that or at least prevent it and that video is here and you can watch that video when you're done watching this one think about your tension as like you're tightening a guitar string you're stretching the blade out the more you stretch it the higher pitched the sound gets so it's basically very similar to tuning a guitar string I know most people think metal won't stretch but it actually does and that's how you get your tension to make proper cuts. If you're brand new to scroll sawing and you just bought a saw, you might not have or be aware of some of the accessories you might need. One is a foot pedal right here. It's like a fur sewing machine. When you step on it, the saw runs. When you take your foot off, it stops. It's absolutely the most handy thing you could possibly have next to it's a magnifying glass that has a light on it even if you have really good eyesight this is a big benefit because it makes your blade and the line and everything so much bigger it makes it so much easier to cut and it helps your accuracy big time so if your saw didn't come with these items I would suggest you go ahead and spend a little bit of money that it costs to get those two items and go ahead and do it. If you haven't seen the first two videos, parts one and two, uh, you can check them out here and I'll also have the links in the description so have no fear you can get them there.